But today, um, to make up for that, I want to give you something that is a jewel, something that if you use it, you will get great results, and if you don't use it, you just won't get as good a results. So many people, at the end of a presentation, they just don't know what to do. It, they get to, they talk to their prospect, and the prospect takes a look at a videotape, or they take a, or listen to an audio tape, or they go through a presentation, or they sit in a, in a, a meeting in somebody's home, or they go to a hotel, and at the end of the meeting, then they just, they don't know what to do. They're like, uh, what did you think? And the person says, well, I don't know. And they say, okay, well, call me. And they just, they, people just leave. And, they, and what people are really looking for at that moment in time is some leadership. And I'm resistant to um, exact verbatim scripts. I'm very resistant to that because people never say what they're supposed to say. But I will tell you this. The power of asking questions is an awesome force. The power of asking questions, number one, and acting as a consultant in a consultant posture and a consultant mindset is the second most important thing. So if you're acting as a consultant to try and help them get to a result that will help them, then you're going to get better results. If you act as a salesperson, pitch, 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 sell, 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 and you're not asking any questions, you're just giving the facts, you just keep talking and talking and talking, you're going to have trouble, a lot of trouble, um, at the end of a presentation. So this is a four-question process that, I go, that I've used for 15 years that works unbelievably well. And uh, I've trained a lot of people to use this, used it for a, lot, a, a long time, and it's just a remarkable, simple, little consultant-based, question-based process at the end of any presentation. And it goes something like this. Question number one to Bob, if I'm talking to Bob. Bob, based upon what you just saw, if you were to get started in this business on a part-time basis, about how much would you need to earn per month in order to make this business worth your time? And then just wait for the answer. So I'm not invested in, what, in the answer that Bob gives me. Bob's answer is his answer. So, Sue... If you were to get, to get involved, based upon what you've seen, if you were to get involved in this business on a part-time basis, about how much would you need to earn per month in order to make it worth your time? And then just wait for the answer. And let's say they say $2,000 a month. Fantastic. Whether they say $2,000, $5,000, $10,000, dollars it doesn't matter. Sometimes you're selling a $10,000 a month opportunity when all they want to buy is a $2,000 a month opportunity. That's what they're looking for. Sometimes you oversell it by making it too high, and sometimes you undersell it by making it too low. This business can be very flexible. This profession can be very kind of uh, flexible for different people for different uh, circumstances, but you can make it rigid sometimes. Oh, you can make a million dollars a year. Like we talk about people who make a million dollars a year on Network Marketing Pro. We don't talk about the people who are making a million dollars a year just because we're trying to sell only that. The, I, I, all I'm saying is if you're making a million dollars a year or better, that's kind of a it's, a, it's a big dividing line. I mean, you really have to know your stuff in order to be able to make that kind of money. But anyway, in other words, you don't tell them what the opportunity can be for them. Let them tell you what the opportunity would be, what would be exciting for them. So question number one. So and so, based upon what you've just seen, if you were to get started on a part-time basis, about how much would you need to make per month in order to be able to make it worth your time? Wait for the answer. Let's say they say $2,000. Fantastic. Question number two. About how many hours per week do you think you could dedicate to building this business in order to be able to make that $2,000 a month? And wait for the second answer. About how many hours per week do you think you could dedicate in order to be able to develop a $2,000 a month income with this business? And wait for the answer. They give you the answer. Let's say they say uh, eight hours a week. Fantastic. Question number three. About how many months would you be willing to work those eight hours a week 
in order to develop a $2,000 passive residual income. About how many months, and wait for the answer again, about how many months would you be willing to work your eight hours a week in order to develop your $2,000 monthly passive income? And wait for that answer. So you're going to get, the th let's say they say six months. Then, and, and, and sometimes you're going to get unreasonable expectations, but let's say they say six months, which is reasonable. Depends on your opportunity. And again, I'm talking generically here. It's very difficult to get specific inside of any one company or any one opportunity. But let's say that that's reasonable inside your company. If someone were to be dedicated, working eight hours a week for six months, um, focused time, and they were very coachable, that they could develop a $2,000 monthly income. Okay, let's say that that was reasonable. Um, if it's reasonable, then you go to question number four. Let's say it's not reasonable for a second. Let me go you know, and just say, because you know, this will happen. Let's say you ask question number one. They'd say, uh, $10,000. I'd like to make $10,000. That, that's what I'd need in order for, for this to be worth my time. How many hours you, would you be willing to commit to do that? I'd be willing to commit two hours a week. And how many months would you be willing to commit two hours a week? I'd be willing to commit two months. Then as a consultant, if you're in a consultant mindset, what do you need to do? You've got to say, look, I will tell you right now, that's an unrealistic expectation. To, in order to be able to earn $10,000 a month in a business, a, a brand new business, working two hours a week for the next two months, I just don't think that we can get you there. But if you're willing to change one of these three numbers, then we can get you there. You either have to change the 10,000 and make it lower, or you have to change the hourly and make it more hours per week, or you, can, you have to change the month and decide to give it more months. But if you're willing to change one of those numbers, or maybe two of the three numbers, then I can show you how to get there. But if you're not willing to do that, you know what, this probably, probably isn't for you. You know, you probably have other things that you could do. So coach them to be able to set reasonable expectations um, based upon one of those three things. Okay, so you understand? And you will gain more credibility when you say, you know what, this probably isn't for you. And you coach them into a reasonable expectation by saying you're going to have to change one of those three numbers you'll gain way more credibility than you'll say, okay, fine, great, great, just join. You know, that doesn't give you any credibility at all. If you let them know that, you know, if somebody tells you you can make a million dollars a year and you can do it, you know, you can make 100000 a month and you can do it in your first 90 days and you can do it working 10 hours a week, does that buy you any credibility? It doesn't. Even, even if they sign up, it doesn't buy you any credibility. So question number one, how much money per month, you know, in order to be able to make it worth your time? Number two, how many hours per week would you be willing to commit in order to develop that income? Number three, how many months would you be willing to work those hours per week in order to be able to develop that income? So, let's say that those are reasonable. Then question number four is really simple. I would just say, look, if I could show you how to get that $2,000 monthly income, working eight hours a week, focused time, you'd have to be really coachable, over the course of the next six months, is there anything else you need in order to get started? Anything else you need to know in order to be able to get started? And just wait for the answer. They say, and, and I promise you, 90% of the time they say, you know what, if that, if that can happen, I'm ready to go. Because you have uh, uh, let them, by asking questions, you have let them create a reality that they could get excited about. You know, some people are going to shock you. You think that they're going to want $5,000 a month, and all they want is $500. You don't know that they just sat, you know, with their spouse talking about bills, and they just need to make some credit card payments. So you're, you're going to be, you're, you're selling $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month, $4,000 a month, $2,000 a month, and all they want to buy right now is $500 a month. So instead of trying to sell something and you don't know what they want to buy, ask them what they want to buy. And so long as it's reasonable inside of your company, inside of your opportunity, then you can help them create a roadmap in order to be able to make that happen. 
So if somebody's really ambitious and say, you know what, I'm willing to, I've got to make something happen. I need to make $5,000 a month because I just lost my job or this happened or that happened or something, you know, there's some crisis happening in, in our family. Okay, how many hours a week would you be willing to work? I'm willing to work 40 hours a week, 50 hours a week. I'm willing to do whatever I need to do in order to be able to make it happen. And how long would you be willing to work that in order to be able to make it happen? I need to have, make it happen pretty fast. I've got to make it happen in 90 days. So long as that's reasonable and they're willing to work really, really hard and they're coachable, then you can lay out a game plan for them and say, okay, look, if I can show you how to make that $5,000 a month working 40, 50, 60 hours a week over the course of the next 90 days, would you be ready to get going? And just wait for the answer. You're acting as a consultant. You're acting as a friend. You're acting as a coach. And if their expectations are unreasonable, then you need to say, you know what, this isn't for you. Sorry. If, they, if it is reasonable, then you say, you ask them the question, you help them get started, and then you create a game plan for them that is reasonable uh, in order to be able to make that expectation come to life. I will tell you, if you will utilize this, we haven't talked a lot on Network Marketing Pro, Pro about scripts, and this is more about a concept than anything else. Be acting as a consultant, acting as a coach, not acting as a salesperson. If you focus on this concept, it will be worth its weight in gold.